There's always something going on in a market, isn't there? Just trying to thread a bus through here can't be a lot of fun. In the other two street photography films, I hopefully have got you used to being in a public place and taking pictures. In part one, it was about not worrying if people come up to you and ask you what you're doing. In the second one with the burger van, it was about being around strangers and taking pictures and kind of building up your confidence to understand that it's okay. But something which is on all our hearts, I guess, to try and catch are those candid moments. So with street photography, there are times to be kind of quite loud and very, very obvious, as I have been in the previous two films. But there's also going to be a place for being quite quiet and candid. And provided you've got used to doing the other two things, you'll hopefully be able to feel comfortable doing that yourself. Now, I'm not saying that I'm only going to do candids now. There may be moments when I might actually even stop and ask someone if I can shoot their portrait, if I think it's going to make an interesting picture that sort of fits the brief. But what I'm really looking for, if we can get it, is little magic moments between people. I don't know if we'll get that this afternoon or not, because, you know, we only have so much time to spend down here doing it but to get pictures of people just being people kind of as an observer. So that's what I'm going for, and I may or may not speak to them. So there is a potential situation there, the guy with the hat talking to the girl sitting under the stand, under the stall, under the, I don't know what you call it, the stripey thing they sit under. When you're the other side up there, <clears throat> she's got really brilliant light on her face and I like the characterfulness of the guy's hat. But the problem is, to get that shot to work, really I need to be where that BB long lorry is. So those are things to watch out for. If you're in this sort of environment, you could sort of sit over there. But also it's quite cool because they're sort of looking towards us. So come around this way, Janie. If you're out with a friend, you can, can you go that way? You can often sort of pretend that you're talking to the friend while in fact what you're doing is just kind of shooting over the friend's shoulder and grabbing shots. Look at that, you see? So what I'm doing now is just grabbing some shots of those two and they've no idea. So it's sometimes worth taking a friend along with you because all the time you're talking to the friend and making out you're chatting to them, what you're really doing is looking over their shoulder and just kind of, you know, sort of grabbing a shot like that one. There we go. Oh, these guys are cool. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look, he's really lost in his music. I'm going to nip over the other side. Now, they know what I'm here and they don't seem to worry about it. Let's try and get this man straight on. I'm going for a square on shot here of both of these guys. Look at this. Look. Now, they obviously know that I'm here. These are quite cool. What I want the guy to, where are we? There we go. What I'm after now, I want to try and catch the guy looking. This is a lot of this is about waiting for the shot to happen. So I'm kind of locked in. That's all right. Don't worry, mate. You're fine. Uh, you see, we got. Yeah, I think they're quite cool. I'm going to try and shoot from another angle. If you can shoot against the light, you often get a much nicer look. Now I like that because oh, now it's, get, it's getting quirky now. It's come out a bit because I like the two of them. Oh great, we had a grin. That's what I like. There's something going on. There's stuff happening. The light is really cool now. Let's just shoot some. I want to get the lens longer. And the best zoom lens is your feet. Why do I want the lens longer? It means a shallower depth of field. And of course you're working around passers-by. So I'm just thinking that from here, by this wall, looking down in that direction, we can see the guys busking. That's great, and I've got their open case. I quite like that. In fact, I like it a lot. Now all I've got to do is wait until something happens. At the moment, one is hidden behind the other a little. I'd like to try and get somebody watching them or something like that. We haven't got it yet. Grabbing a shot here. But we've probably got pretty much enough shots of this guy. Oh, that's quite nice, good. 
I quite like this little this butcher's van here. Um, I'm thinking that even though the light underneath the awning is really dreadful, if I push my exposure compensation up by a stop, then if someone's under there and <coughs> they're being handed a packet of roast beef or something like that, then it's quite a good angle to get a shot of just this disembodied arm coming out and someone accepting something. There was someone there when I first noticed it, but unfortunately in the time it's taken to tell you that, they've gone. So I might just hang around a minute and see if something happens. Oh, oh, something's happening. They're obviously having a very long and animated conversation. And you see what I mean about standing in the street? Um, you know, boulders brass were incredibly conspicuous. Unfortunately, my line of sight is now completely blocked. Let's hope something happens. The only advantage of being able to stand around this long is it helps me frame up my shot. I'm noticing a street light way in the background. No, didn't happen. What a shame. Oh, she's going back. This can take so long to get really cool shots. Right, I've got to no, someone walks in front of me. I've got her in focus. Just want something to happen. got her looking at stuff but it's not the shot that I want. I want something coming out of that van. The sun's moving, the light's changing, now I'm getting lens flare and everything. Oh here it comes, oh no! That is frustrating as hell because that had the potential to be absolutely brilliant. I'm just gonna have a quick flick through. Yeah actually there are, there's one or two in there that are really quite good. We've got a couple of ladies here on the olive stand, look, they're just checking stuff out and I'm hoping I can get a bit of something going on from here. Oh, that's not bad, but the focus is in the wrong place. Yeah, they're not bad, I need to be able to see them. I'm just being a bit obvious now, because I want them talking to each other, really. Oh, this is cool, yeah, good, good. I'd much rather be looking along the street, but we're not. I've got my exposure compensation pushed up to plus one because we're kind of shooting into the dark. I'm watching out to make sure I don't get run over if I can possibly avoid it. I'm waiting to see the guy. Oh, we've been clocked, but they don't seem to mind. Lovely, lovely light on that woman's face. Fabulous. I'm shooting at f2.8 to keep that aperture really wide so that the Depth of field is really shallow. Oh, 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 bit of pointing. Now I know I'm taking loads of these pictures. Oh, 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 bit of tasting going on here. Yeah, good, we've got a bit of life happening. I'm not looking at you guys because I'm really concentrating on what's going on. Let's hope something happens. Come on, come on, come on, right, and money's changing hands. Yeah, come on, we'd like it a little bit more animated, possibly, but a couple of smiles, still waiting for that interaction. They're having a long conversation. I'm not taking the camera away from my eye because if I do, stuff will happen. Oh, they're wandering off. Oh, and they're away. And we've been clocked. Hey ho. <laughs> oh, we make little films about photography. You can have a little look. Hang on. Hang on, I've got to go back a bit. Oh my god! Let's go back a bit. I took quite a lot while you were. Uh, I saw you looking at me, so. I just want to catch these little bits of interaction. Yeah. Quite like that one. Yeah. I like this guy. Yeah. And that yeah. one. And that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for posing yeah, for me. That was really kind. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Oh, what nice ladies. That's cool. Look, 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 look. 
it would have been much nicer if I'd moved that way in the street so we didn't have that horrid white van in the background, but I couldn't do that without beating Jane clean off her feet with the camera. So we hope that's given you some inspiration, some ideas for how to go about street market photography. I didn't get exactly the kind of shot that I had hoped to get when we started filming. But that just goes to show you that you do have to put a lot of time, patience and effort into getting those sorts of shots. You don't just wander around wildly snapping and go home with some great ones. You spend a day out in an environment like this and go home with, what, three really, really cool shots? You've done very, very well. So there we go, once again, post some of your pictures to our Facebook page. We'd love to see them. I hope this has given you an idea. And again, look forward to seeing the pictures soon.